Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin from Sip and Dip Australia and today I'm going to be walking you through this virtual Sip and Dip Learn to Paint class. Please keep in mind this video will obviously go a lot quicker than what it will take for you to paint this piece, so just pause and restart wherever you need to. Alright, so let's jump into it. We're going to start with our background and we're going to start with our dark blue, just swatching it around in the top three quarters of your canvas like so. We are going to go ahead and do this with all of the colours for our sky. Once we have most of our space filled in, we're going to start blending it all together. Simply wipe off your brush, no need to wash it, and then we're going to get a little bit of white paint on our brush and start blending these colours. As you can see here, I am just brushing back and forth lightly on my canvas, adding a little bit of white as I go in some places. As you go with this process, you might decide that you want to add some more colour to your canvas. That's totally fine, so you can see soon I will add some dark blue down the bottom. If you want more pink, you can add some more pink back in. Totally up to you guys. Once you are happy with how that top part of your canvas is looking, we're going to go ahead and start on the water reflection in that last quarter. So the first step to this section is to start with our dark blue around the outside. Next step is to then put that purple in that blank white space that we have in the middle here. Then we want to blend that purple into the dark blue. And then we're going to add some white on top of that purple to make it a little bit lighter in some places. Okay, now that our background is looking the part, we're going to start with our grass. So for our grass, you can either start really light handed at the top and then as you make your way down, push down to make that line a bit thicker. Or you can do the opposite, start at the bottom, pushing a little bit harder and then lift your hand as you go up. We want to make this grass different lengths and going in different directions, like so. Then we want to do a couple less pieces of grass on the left hand side and then just some little ones down the centre as well. Now that we're happy with that grass, we're going to add in what I describe as this sausage shape on top of some of the pieces. Not too many, and you want to make sure you have some that are different sizes as well. So a couple of bigger ones at the top there, and then a couple of smaller ones down the bottom. And now we're going to get started with our dragonflies. So we're going to start with the body of our dragonfly first and this is going to be a similar shape to what you've just added to your plants. Then for the wings of your dragonfly you want your top two wings to be a little bit longer and the bottom two wings to be a little bit smaller. Nice and thin in the middle where it meets the body and thicker as it makes its way out to the edge of the wing. And then to finish off our dragonfly, we're just going to add the tail, which is just a nice, thin, long line. Once you've done that first dragonfly, we're going to go ahead and add another one. You can add as many as you like. Um, it does look cool if you've got a couple of smaller ones, a couple of bigger ones floating around your piece. When you have added all the dragonflies you want, we're going to go ahead and do our moon. So you want to make sure you wash your brush really well after using the black for the dragonflies. 
and then grab some white and we're simply going to make a moon shape on our canvas. Then just fill in that round shape with white paint. Once you are happy with that shape, we're going to grab some purple and a bit of dark blue, mix them together, and we're just going to splotch that around over our moon, as you can see here. So we're not filling in the whole area, just adding a little bit of dimension and colour. And once you're happy with that, you're done! Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, for this virtual art class. Don't forget to post your creations on our social media. We love seeing what you've come up with. See you next time. Bye!